I usually go from week to week, a lot of times day by day. I know where I'm going to be, but I don't turn that page till that morning. We traveled throughout the state of Illinois from top to bottom, east to west. There'll be roughly about 60 showings this year with about 30,000 miles covered. There's days that you go down the road, yes, it goes through your mind. My son's on one side of the trailer, and yes, he's Watch me every day I go down the road. On 11, 11, 11, put this special day into their mind. Stop and say thank you. Just pick it up and carry it like that. I'm Donald Paneer from Washburn, Illinois. My father was in World War II in the Southwest Pacific. I personally wasn't in the military, but I know what it's all about. My son's name is Philip J. Panier. He passed away in January of 2008 as specialist. Philip J. Panier. He is from out of Fort Campbell, Kentucky. We lost him in Iraq. As of the present day, there's 261 on the wall. The wall covers Operation Enduring Freedom Iraq, Operation Enduring Freedom Afghanistan. They're always somebody's kid. The importance of being here at any school, including Hampshire High School, is to educate the young people that we do have fallen from the state of Illinois. It's so sad. Another girl. My God, they're everywhere. Let the general people know that this is why we have the freedom we have today. It's a lot of people. It's so sad that all these people go to war and then they die for us. And this gentleman here is coming in O'Hare Airport this afternoon. We have a lot of young men that have lost their life for what they thought was right. My name is Richard Zebart. I was a sergeant, I was in the Air Force, and I served primarily in Europe. They're awful young, the majority of them. I looked at that and I could see the youth in their faces. I think it is very powerful. I think the idea behind it is very, very good, to keep it in people's minds. service? I was never in the service. My son's on the wall, that's why. I, oh, he uh, is? Well, yeah, gosh. Yeah. What a great uh, testimony yeah. to the yeah. young man. That's very nice. Yeah. I'm doing it for all. I'm not just my son. Well, all. that's okay. He yeah. did it for everybody, too. Well, that's correct. That's correct. I've been crying since the wall came this morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really... It's really something. Is this your only son? I've got two living boys, yes. Yeah. I, I lost my oldest and youngest. Oh my goodness. I lost him in the service. The other one committed suicide five months ahead of that. Dale was in the National Guard Reserves for six years. And so we had a full military funeral for him. The guy above is guiding me every day. Otherwise, you know. You do have to have me. Yeah. It's sad. It makes me feel like that could be my dad or my brother, someone I love. So it just really exemplifies the respect that I feel for these men and women fighting for our country. My name is Specialist Jonathan Porter. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. 
I was emotional to see this. And uh, it makes me feel real good knowing that they're not forgotten because they gave the ultimate sacrifice. We're very fortunate oh, to get it on 11, 11, 11. I wish it wasn't just on Veterans Day. I wish people took time to acknowledge these veterans every time they saw them. You see a veteran in the street, acknowledge them. Tell them thank you. I think he's just as much of a hero as everyone else is because he's able to share his son's story and have his legacy live on and hopefully more young men and women will act accordingly and appreciate our country as they should. We're good. We're good. Thank you. He'd probably tell me if he was alive, Dad, what are you doing this for? Because he never did like me to put him up on a pedestal and show him off. but. He's up there looking down at me, and I'm just going to say, well, Dad's got to do it. And I'm sure he'd understand. <laughs>